Hey yeah guys and welcome to another How Do You Do series where I'm talking about how to lip sync for animations like story time or narrations or even animated skits. I use Adobe Animate CC as my primary animation software so here we go. Before we get started, here are some of the basic stuff you'll need. The character, well obviously the lips will look spooky without the head. Lips in different positions based on the pronunciation, I guess, or more accurately, the Zims. I've attached an illustrator file in the description below for those who want to use these similar graphics I used in this demo for practicing purposes. Now, the more Vizims you have, the more realistic and smoother your lip sync will look, with the drawback being the longer time you'll need to create the lip sync. And now, for step 1, we're gonna import the character to the stage. Go to Import, Import to Stage, and we're gonna import the illustrator file I mentioned, and in that file, each of the mouth positions has its own layer, with the character at the very last layer on its own. Make sure the Animate Layers is selected and click Import. Voila! Now we're talking? Okay, I'm gonna lock the character in position so I don't accidentally move it, and what we're gonna do now is to create a symbol that houses all the lips, so that we can lock our lips together and French kiss like a mother father. Okay, that's lame, I know. Don't mind me. So click on the very last keyframe, hold shift, and click on the first keyframe to select all of the mouth positions, and right click, choose cut frames. Next, click insert at the top, new symbol, name it whatever, and then click OK. Inside this whatever symbol, right click and paste all the mouth frames into the first frame. This will paste all of the mouth graphics into the symbol with their names in order. I'm just gonna align them together by the top left corner. At this point, you'll need to go back out to the character layer and make sure the mouth layer and the character layer is separate. Why? Because when both are in the same layer, you're gonna find it difficult to select the mouth symbol later on. Now, we'll search for that whatever mouth we have and drag it to the new layer and adjust the position accordingly. Mm, too low. Nah, too high. The fuck? Okay, this is good. Next, we need to add the audio, or the speech file we'll be lip syncing with. I usually just drag and drop my audio into animate. Just make sure it's on a different layer and not with the mouth or character. Don't be afraid to create many 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 layers my friends, that's what layers are for. And by the way, I know a lot of animators like to label their layers because that's the proper way to do it, but I'm too lazy so yeah, just drag and drop and we good. Whew, so now we have all these in place, I hope you're not too lost yet. Still with me? Great. Depending on the length of your speech, the best practice is to keep it short. I have with me an audio file that says, people say nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. So now, we're gonna do nothing every day. You wanna make sure that the frames are adjusted so your full audio track is covered and not cut off. If it is, just insert a keyframe to extend it. Head into the whatever mouth symbol, and we need to make sure all the mouths are on separate keyframes. So just drag each keyframe to the position next to the other keyframe, layer by layer, and once that's done, we can head up to the main timeline. Now, in Anime CC, you have two ways to perform lip sync. One of the methods is using the frame picker, and another is using the automated lip sync feature. Let's talk about the auto animate lip sync. When you click on your mouse symbol, on the right under the object tab, you can see this lip sync feature button. If you're using it the first time, you'll notice the preview boxes inside the lip sync feature are the base neutral mouse shape. You'll have to set up the vzims so that animate can automatically sync the mouth positions later on. Click on this R ah box and you'll see all the mouth shapes appearing. Match the Ah, to the correct mouth shape and do the same for all the others. After that, select the audio from the drop down and press done. The automated lip sync should render the animation pretty quickly if it's a short audio file. And there we have it, try playing it back and see. People say, nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. Hmm, decent enough, but if you're a seasoned lip sync animator, you'll notice it's not smooth. I'm not a pro by all means, but I do notice the auto lip sync isn't 100% accurate for some of the mouth visims, but hey, it does simplify the job. 
That's where method 2 comes in handy, using the frame picker. So how it works is, you select the mouse symbol and click on the frame picker tool. It'll open up the graphic symbol that stores all the mouth visims. I like to enlarge the preview for easier navigation. When you click on a keyframe that doesn't feel right, for example, this sound, ah, I know it's supposed to be like my mouth opening, but the automated one is a S. You click on the keyframe and choose the ah visims and it'll change. Moving back and forth your audio file, you can use the frame picker to amend those mouth movements the automated feature failed to do a good job at. Let's say you don't use the automated lip sync at all, you can put the mouth symbol on the character and manually pick each mouth visim according to the speech. Make sure you set the audio file to stream and not event so you can play back the track as you go along. This method may be a bit more tedious but oftentimes it generates a better and smoother lip sync for your animation. The choice is yours. So there you have it, how to lip sync on Adobe Animate. I hope this How Do You Do series has been helpful to you guys and I'll see you in the next one.